Hey guys, Danny Johnson here, and today we're going to be replacing the electronic latch assembly. You'll notice in this case it's not locking, and when we go to open it, you don't hear it unlatch, of course. But uh, if this is happening to you, then uh, I'll show you how to replace the latch assembly. So the lift gate still works, so we're going to go ahead and open it up. Next, we're going to take a 10 millimeter socket, and we're going to remove the negative battery terminal cable. And so you might need an extension as well to kind of get in there. It's kind of tight with a ratchet. We'll just move that out of the way. Now back at the lift gate, we're going to take our screwdriver and we're just going to put it in here and pop it down. And so once you just kind of get it down enough that you can get your fingers behind it, you can just kind of reach in here, grab it, and it pops right off. And so this exposes the latch area and you can see the motor up in there. And so we're also going to take off this little piece. So we're going to take our screwdriver and pop this little cover off. And this screw is not a typical screw, it's actually a Torx, and so we need a T30 Torx so we don't strip it out. So get one of those six point, and we're gonna take that screw out, and then we can pop this cover down as well. And it has one plug on it, so we're gonna just push down and release that plug and set it out of the way. Now we're gonna get our hand down in here and just pop this down. Uh, right here next to the latch. You'll see what it looks like here. That's what holds it in. And we only have to do that on each side of the latch. We really don't have to take the whole thing off. And so now we're going to take our T40 Torx, another Torx bit, and we're going to remove these two screws here that are right next to the latch on each side. So once we remove those out of the way, now the uh, whole latch assembly can come down and out. And there's a plug over here. So as you can see, you're gonna just pinch right there to uh, disconnect the plug and then pull the plug out. Okay, now the whole latch assembly is free. Just slide it right out and this is what it looks like. So you'll have to go get a new one or have this one repaired. And so take your new one and bring it in and we're gonna go ahead and uh, plug it back in. So we're putting this into place for the most part and then plugging it in. Okay, so that just clicks right in. And then we're gonna put the latch up and in here again, just the way that it came out. And it actually tilts kind of forward. And you'll know it's in place like this, tilting it forward by seeing the screw holes line back up. So we'll go ahead and uh, put our screws back in. Again, that's with the T40 Torx. We'll go ahead and tighten these both down. Okay. With that in place, now we can uh, come on over here and reconnect the button. And so it just pops right back on. And then this piece goes in. Just give it a little tap here. And then we'll go ahead and just pop this back into place while we're at it on both sides. Now we're gonna take our T30 Torx again and put this screw back in. And the little cover comes in. You can see the little cover has a smaller piece and then a, a bigger piece. So it goes in this way. It also has the notch closest to us right now, as you can see. So just pop that right back into place. Okay, now this cover, we'll just line it back up here. Closest to the latch seems to work the best. So I'd pop it in there and then just give it a little tap. And now we're ready to reconnect the negative battery cable. I'm gonna go back in here and tighten this down. Again, an extension helps. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that that's nice and snug there. So thanks for watching. Hopefully this video was helpful. Please check the video description where I have a lot of videos on this Yukon. And if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Thanks guys.